Hi, this is Gardening Through the Season. I'm Keith Krause and coordinator of the Soil Testing Lab at Mississippi State. What I want to talk to you today about is a key component to nutrient management and that is a soil sample. We all know that nutrient management is important in our gardens and also our lawns as far as productivity goes and health of the plants. What I want to talk today about is how to take a soil sample. Things to consider when you take a soil sample, of course, one of them is the time of the year. As we all know, we have different moistures and different temperatures during the time of the year, so this would affect our soil test results. So when we take a soil sample, whether we take it in the spring or whether we take it in the fall, we need to remember that we always, when we take a sample again, we need to take it at the same time of the year. I would recommend that you pull a sample about once every two to three years. Now let's start with some of the basic tools as far as pulling a soil sample goes. You could start with this shovel as a way to pull a sample. Another thing that you could use to take your soil sample with is what did I call a garden spade or trial. Another instrument that you could use as far as taking a soil sample, and this is what I prefer to take a soil sample, is what is called a soil testing probe. The reason I prefer to use a soil testing probe because you need to take the sample about six inches deep, and as you can see from the probe, it has increments of six inches. This is what I would consider a subsample for a soil sample. Uh, once you've taken a core like this, you take an area that you're sampling, and you want to take about what I would say 10 to 12 of these subsamples per soil sample. You would randomly want to go across the area and pull in these samples at six inches, and once you get to six inches pulled, you would want this is where your bucket will come in as far as placing it in a bucket. And then you could take the bucket and your soil probe and randomly go through the, the area pulling subsamples for the soil sample. After you get all the grass out of the sample, you want to take the cores and crush them. Once you get the sample mixed up, it looks something similar to this. Once you have mixed the sample up, you need to take a soil sample box and a, the sample box, you've got flaps on the top and bottom. Okay, you want to put the box together, it's like fat like this, and then you got the larger flaps will be folded in first, and then the smaller flaps will attach. And once you get the bottom of the box attached, you'd want to take the soil sample. And something important to remember here is to make sure that when you put the sample in the box, that you completely full, make sure the sample box is completely full. You want to take the two big flaps, fold one in and then the other, and then the smaller flaps attach to close the box up. You'd also want to make sure that you fill the box out, the information is for us with your name and you want to put your address, and then we got down here was the field number, field of indication. We're taking a lawn sample today, so this is the front lawn. This is the reason why I chose front as my field identification. Once you get your sample taken, you would need to take the submission form and fill the submission form out. Okay, the submission form has your name, address, and then your county, and then the date in which you submitted the sample. It also has different crop codes for different crops that you might be trying to grow. This column here is for the field identification. The thing to remember here is to make sure that you use five characters or less. And then the, the bottom column is what the crop code should be entered. And for what we're growing here would be St. Augustine, so we would put the St. Augustine crop code in this particular uh, box. 
Uh, you can submit more than one crop code per soil sample. I would recommend that you try to keep it to a minimum of three or four. Each sample is a cost of six dollars. So this particular sample would be six dollars and if you had three crop codes you get three crop codes four to six dollars. The address to mail the samples to is MSU Extension Service Soil Testing Laboratory, Box 9610, Mississippi State, Mississippi 39762. For more information on how to take a soil sample, contact your local county extension office. They have publications called Soil Testing for the Homeowners. They also have the submission forms and the boxes. I'm Keith Krauss, the coordinator of the Soil Testing Lab, Mississippi State, and this has been Gardening Through the Season.